This is FE Peer Review. The date is April 24th, 2021. Atheism of the gaps. What's wrong with that? This is on my mind because I just watched a nice video, a good video by Godless Engineer, in which he was dealing with a man who put out a video, a Christian apologist, using the quote, the phrase, quote, atheism of the gaps. I've heard this phrase come up frequently in the last few months. It seems to be the latest catchphrase that we're going to be hearing, so I thought I would address it. I will try to state the atheism of the gaps argument as best as I understand it. If any theists reading this view the argument differently, I welcome their explanation in the comments. The atheism of the gaps argument states that when atheists face a question as yet unanswered by science, they assume there will be a scientific explanation in the future rather than that God is the cause. This assumption is seen by the theist as a denial of God and reveals a rejection of the consideration of the possibility of God being the answer to the as yet unanswered question. The atheist, searching for a natural cause, does not even consider the possibility of God being the answer and consequently does not search for evidence of God being the answer. When science-minded atheists face an unanswered question, they do not reject the possibility of God being the answer. They do not reject any possible answer. Rather, they leave the question unanswered until a preponderance of evidence points toward a likely cause. They then accept the conclusion that evidence points to, always with the caveat that future evidence may result in a new conclusion. So, no, the atheist does not reject God and try to fill the gap with atheism. The atheist simply leaves the gap unfilled until evidence fills it. Should a preponderance of evidence actually point to a God as the cause, then any ethical scientist would be compelled to accept that conclusion. However, in the entire history of humanity, in the course of scientific inquiry, the God evidence has never appeared. So it is reasonable to assume it is unlikely to appear the next time we encounter an unanswered question. This argument by theists reveals a basic misunderstanding of how natural sciences work. It also reveals a tendency toward bias that is the bane of good science and a problem and pitfall that all competent scientists are aware of. Historically, the hypothesis and a search for evidence came after the observation of natural events whose causes could not be determined. The observations came first, and it was the observations that raised questions. Only after the observations of natural phenomena would hypotheses be formed and evidence searched for. The problem often arises, however, that the search for evidence for a hypothesis often leads to the overlooking of evidence contradictory to the hypothesis. This is why good scientists don't try to prove their hypotheses, they try to disprove their hypotheses. I could go on and on, but I don't want to turn this into a lecture. I'll end it here and just say that the next time you encounter someone tossing out the, quote, atheism of the gaps ploy, maybe this response will be useful. No, it's not about rejecting God as an answer. It is about waiting for a preponderance of evidence to lead to an answer. That answer may well be God. And if that is where the evidence points, then any ethical scientist will accept that conclusion pending further evidence. But so far, in the entire history of science, the evidence for God as the cause has never appeared. For your information, I am including links in the comments to three articles on bias in science.